Greetings. If you are currently working as an endoscopy technician and you are looking at opportunities to advance in your career, I would like to share some details uh, that were provided by the program director for surgical and endoscopy technology at Houston Community College, Ms. Melissa Bruton. I'm grateful to her for her help. And uh, let us start. So it can be a little bit daunting uh, when you want to take this first step. And I try to make it a little bit easier with the help of uh, Ms. Melissa Bruton. What I suggest is uh, you try to Google and uh, put in endoscopy technician training program at HCC and you will get to the website related to the endoscopy technician training program and uh, from there you can move on to get uh, registered and take the next steps to advance your career. So this is the uh, link uh, if you want the link for the uh, programs uh, and application process. So to take you through how easy it is, uh, we have divided this thing in into six steps and I would like to take you through those steps. Uh, step one, obviously you have to uh, apply and get an ID from the Houston Community College. So complete your Houston Community College application by submitting your application to the Community College online. And then you will receive a student ID uh, within 24 hours. And uh, this is the most important thing you need to remember. And the student ID number is the one that you should remember for all your future correspondence. Then step two is uh, acceptance and uh, program application. Uh, you will receive an acceptance letter and after acceptance into HCC, apply into the endoscopy technician program. So you have to submit certain required documents. Uh, these include two letters of recommendation, uh, one from uh, your educator or charge nurse, and another one from uh, your endoscopist with whom you're working. And uh, you have to submit these two letters of recommendation to the, to the community college program director. You also uh, submit the ASGE certificate. And uh, uh, let me talk a little bit about how do you get the ASGE certificate. So if you go to the ASGE Endoscopy Technician Training uh, Program site, uh, uh, you can Google and you put in ASGE Endoscopy Technician Training Program, you'll get to this site and you can uh, register and take the test. And once you pass the test, you'll get a certificate, uh, basically staying uh, completion of the uh, test. And uh, that uh, certificate, along with the uh, transcript from the ASG, is uh, what you need to submit. If you are working with a big group of endoscopists, uh, and if all your endoscopists are members of the ASGE as part of the group membership, uh, you should be able to join the ASGE as an associate member, uh, a benefit uh, uh, because all your endoscopists have joined as group members. And that way you don't have to pay any additional uh, fee or something like that to be an associate member of the ASDE. So we talked about uh, how to get the certificate. And then the next step is uh, 
about clinical skills and competency. Uh, how do we complete the, the clinical portion? Uh, and this can be obtained and must be signed off by your educator in the endoscopy unit or your nurse manager or even your uh, endoscopy doctor with whom you're working. And they have to sign off saying that you are proficient and competent in doing uh, and assisting different types of uh, procedures in the endoscopy unit. Then uh, you have to go through what we call prior lessons, uh, prior learning experience assessment, uh, uh, because you have experience and you need to have experience in the endoscopy unit for at least four years. And uh, uh, you can get the PLA authorization form, fill it up, and then you can test out uh, some courses using the PLA authorization form. And there is a small fee uh, that he needs to be paid, uh, about $25. And then this will allow you to test out of certain courses. So what's the beauty of this PLA for experienced technicians? What's the beauty? You, you know, with your experience as, a, as an endoscopy technician with at least four years, and you have proven that you know your subject, by testing out at the ASG and going through this route, you achieve almost over 50 to 75% of the credits and that uh, otherwise you have to go to school on a regular basis to achieve those credits. And uh, whatever remaining credits uh, could be obtained by just going online and uh, doing those uh, courses. So. And uh, what is it, uh, by going through this pathway, uh, you should be able to get level two certificate and uh, be proud of that. So in order to get a level two certificate, uh, a technician must have minimum of four years of experience in the endoscopy unit, pass the ASGE test, Go through the community college, register, uh, submit uh, uh, the document of ASGE certificate, as well as uh, two letters from your endoscopy unit manager and endoscopist. And then uh, you complete the remaining courses to get level two certificate. That will be equivalent to almost 35 credit hours that you can uh, achieve in total. Uh, majority based on your experience and testing out, and the few uh, credit hours that you have to take uh, online. So this is an excellent pathway that will help you uh, grow further in your career because you can. Uh, there are other steps you can take. After getting level two certificate, you can get a, a degree, uh, like an associate degree, by completing uh, uh, some more credits from the community college. And the community college has started an associate degree program uh, known as Allied Health Specialization in Endoscopy Technician. That's the associate degree plan. And they also have a bachelor's degree uh, plan that you can go for. So this is a fantastic opportunity. And uh, one more thing that I want to share with you that is exciting about uh, future plans and that uh, the HCC leadership has in place, that is ADN nursing program uh, for endoscopy technicians to transition to nursing and potentially a BSN program uh, uh, if this is established at HCC. Uh, these are all things uh, that are being currently planned and uh, hopefully by the time uh, you reach there, uh, it will be a great opportunity uh, to become a BSN and maybe even uh, pursue uh, higher degrees, a master's, etc. So the take home message is, uh, I'm delighted to share that the Houston Community College offers multiple pathways 
for currently uh, working endoscopy technicians. Uh, these include uh, uh, degree options and uh, future opportunities in nursing. And uh, in order to get there, it's very important for you to stay organized with all the required documents and forms to be filled uh, so that you have a smooth uh, progress through uh, this uh, program. So uh, it may be daunting uh, when it comes to any application uh, form, uh, filling those application forms. Uh, uh, just take the first step. You already have a lot under your belt, and I want you to be successful. And I would like to leave here uh, the details of the program director uh, for endoscopy technology as well as surgical technology, Miss Melissa Bruton. And her uh, contact details are also available on the website of uh, Houston Community College. Uh, for the sake, for your, your sake, I put in here. And one thing is I've been working with Ms. Bruton for almost 10 years as we started developing this program. And I would like to share with you, Ms. Bruton is an educator at heart. I really admire her passion uh, to help. Uh, she is the best. Uh, if you get stuck, don't hesitate. Uh, please reach out to her. Thank you.